Good morning, MyTel users. Scott here with TransWest, and today we are going to be going through a quick little video presentation on an application called MyTel Unified Communicator Advanced, UCA for short. UCA is a desktop application that integrates your phone, your cell phone, additional contact phone numbers, as well as your Outlook calendar and Outlook contacts into one client called Unified Communicator Advanced. Now, in this case, I've asked the server to generate a welcome email to me and um, so we can actually load it ourselves. So this is who the email is addressed to. This will be my default login ID and default login password to get into the UCA for the first time. I'll be asked to change my password. These are additional features right here that I'm licensed for on our system here at the office. This is my voice mailbox number and these are additional features that I'm licensed for here at TransWest. But what we're most interested in is this UC Advanced Desktop Client Download Link. Now, we're going to click this link and we're going to go through a setup process. But before we do, I wish to draw your attention to this domain name right up here, collab.twns.com. When you go through your setup process, one of the questions you'll be asked by the UCA during the, the uh, login process, the download process, you'll be asked to input the server name. So that name that you'll input will be listed right here. In this case, it's collab.twns.com. Now, your company will have a different name right here. It will actually be collab.yourcompanyname.com. So take a little look at that right there before you start this download process. And then all you'll do is just click the Unified Communicator Advanced download link right here to start that process to get it loaded on your on your PC. So um, go ahead, feel free, select your download link, go through your setup process, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, meet back here in just a moment, and we will go through some of the features of the UCA. Once you've completed your download process, you're going to want to create a shortcut to your desktop to find the applications. So you'll come underneath All Programs, left click one time. And down at the bottom, it will be found as Unified Communicator Advanced. Simply right click one time. And then just go ahead and send to Desktop to create a desktop shortcut. So I've already done this in this application, and right there in the center of my screen is that UCA desktop icon. Okay, here we are. I've got UCA open and running on my desktop, and I'm going to call my desk extension just to show you a couple of screen pops. So right now I'm selecting my cell phone and I'm calling my desk phone. So notice that I get two screen pops. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that phone. I have an option to answer forward it to another destination, or send that call right to my voicemail, which I just did. So I can hang up from that call. That caller is now hearing my voicemail. So that's a couple of screen pops that we get. Incoming calls will always route right here. And when you receive a phone call, or actually, excuse me, make a phone call, you'll get the big dialog box that pops over on this side right here to show you the participants that you're speaking with on that particular phone call. And then you can hang up right here. Maybe you're using a headset. You have a headset plugged into your phone or your laptop because you're using the UCA as a soft phone. This will be your call controls. So I'm going to go ahead and replace my handset. And what we'll do, so we've just uh, showed you a couple screen pops, the incoming screen pop, the outgoing screen pop over here. Now this right here stands out right in the center of my screen, big and bold. It's known as a dynamic status message. You can click here and customize a little bit. But what these dynamic status messages do, first of all, it allows your coworkers to do a quick view of what you're doing at a given moment. Maybe um, you're on vacation. Maybe you're uh, 
working from home. Um, you can manage those statuses by selecting your drop down and coming to manage statuses. Now for this demo we're going to create a new status. I am getting ready to go on vacation here in a couple of days and so I wish to create a new status reflecting to my coworkers that I am on vacation. So I will select new and I'll input the status message that I wish my coworkers to see and I have some some call controls here. This is a very nice one right here. So when I've chosen that on vacation status message, I can route all calls to my voicemail box. Video calls, I wish to appear offline to my coworkers. And instant messages, I won't be in the office, so I'll actually uh, appear offline to them. So let's go ahead and save this on a vacation status message. Uh, so we save that. And right here, uh, there's my on the vacation. And of course, now my coworkers that are running UCA in their desktop, they can see that I'm on vacation. Now, I do want to bring your attention right here. I just noticed something. Notice that Audrey is, uh, uh, she's changed to kind of an orangish color versus a, a green color here. Now, this tells me that Audrey has stepped away from her desk and she has not touched her keyboard for the default five minutes. Um, default timer is five minutes and you can change yours as well. We'll go through that when we go through some configuration here next. But of course, she does have a webcam available. She has UCA up and operating on her desktop, but she hasn't touched her keyboard for a while, so I'm not quite sure if she's at her desk or not. And of course, her little phone icon tells me that her phone is currently idle. Here we look down that Bob's on a phone currently, Brent's on a phone call as well. So these are known, known as your corporate contacts right here. This equates to this icon. It will always take you to the, your corporate. You can create a new uh, group by simply right-clicking and adding a group, which I've done, titled Outlook Contacts, but I have not imported my Outlook Contacts into here yet. I've just created a, a subgroup called Outlook Contacts. But let's go back to our corporate because that's kind of what we're dealing with here in this video. So our dynamic status is up here. Here I have a little uh, call box. I can input uh, an external telephone number. I can input an extension number, place call, or hit my enter key to call that particular person. Here it shows me that uh, my desk phone is active. Now this icon right here, you may or may not have this icon. If licensed, you may have access to the Unified Communicator Advanced console application. Usually this is rolled out to a receptionist or multiple receptionist. And I'm gonna I am licensed for it, so I'm gonna pop it momentarily here. But notice it's it's really kind of an on-screen console. And all of my incoming calls will show in this window. I can just double click to answer and then I can just click to drag to whoever I wish to transfer that call to. But this video is not about the console application, so I'm going to close this. But if you are interested in the console application, we do have a video on it on our YouTube webpage, and it's titled Mitel Unified Communicator Advanced Console Application. So let's come back up here. And uh, so I think we've kind of gone through these statuses. So we have a little bit of an idea of what they do. Now, I did mention to you that I'm going to be going on vacation soon. Now, I can associate a new phone number to each particular status if I like. So maybe um, if I'm out of the office, choose the out of the office, maybe I want to route calls to my home phone number or maybe uh, an internal extension number. So you do have some rules, some uh, uh, call receiving rules for each of these statuses. And I'm going to take you into that real quick here through my drop down menu and I'm going to manage my account. So these are some of the phone numbers that I've associated to me. And if I'm going to add a new phone number, I just simply click my add function and we're going to um, input this as uh, Cabana bar. I am going to the beach, by the way, and we will put in a fake phone number of 555-1212, and I don't wish to publish that number. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and publish it to my coworkers. So we'll select save here. Now, let's go back and manage those that status, that on the vacation status. So I'm going to come down 
I'm going to select manage my statuses. I'm going to find that vacation status. Now to send my calls instead of voicemail, I'm going to send that call to the command bar. So that's how you can associate phone numbers, different phone numbers or different extension numbers to a particular status message. So I will cancel that and let's do this. Let's go back to in the office momentarily. I am still here, by the way. And let's do this. Let's come down to an employee. Let's right click and we're going to look at some of the options available when you right click an employee. You can do a place a quick call. Call with info. If I, uh, um, and it's kind of like sending Audrey an instant message and a phone call all at the same moment. So if I place that call, my phone will automatically go off hook, call her extension, and then she will get this little pickup that's titled Please Pick Up. So we'll cancel that. We'll go back to right click. Here I can do a chat with Audrea. I can do a video call to her desk phone. Video call with info. Same feature. Uh, if I select that icon right there, it, by default, it'll pop my webcam. And uh, um, uh, so I can do a video call to Audrea. Now this start a conference, really great new feature, love it. Uh, we rolled this out to a, a large engineering firm a while back, um, hundreds of employees. And the engineers, um, they are the ones that uh, really love this feature, took to it like ducks to water, because what they used it for is to, when they were working on a specific project, um, maybe they wanted to, uh, uh, sh they, what they were doing is they were sharing drawings amongst each other. So let's do this. We'll show you what's available when you start a conference with, with Audrey in this case. So I'm going to select start a conference, make sure her name is highlighted, and I'm going to give it a topic of, um, um, I don't know, check it out. And I do want to talk to her, so you know we want to have a phone conversation, of course. And do we wish to be also having a... Uh, uh, open our webcams to one another. Uh, I don't know, not necessarily. But in order to screen or to show her my screen, show her an application that I'm using, I would select this and then start that. It would place the call to her. Um, she would get a little screen pop right down here asking if she wishes to accept this particular call, this particular call and web conference. And if she does, then we have the capability of sharing one another's screens. I'm going to cancel this. We'll come back, we'll right click again. Now this contact information just shows any phone numbers associated specifically to Audria. Knowledge management, another great tool. Um, imagine Audrey and I are working on a, a new project. Maybe we're getting ready to bring a new customer online and um, we've associated or we've built a fairly extensive database for this particular customer. Spreadsheets maybe, maybe we've got pictures of uh, the account building and so on. And so by selecting this knowledge management, I can associate documents or documents specifically to Audria. Maybe on our uh, our internal um, um, network drive here, we have a file that's called uh, ABC Widget Company. And within that file, I've got all kinds of documents, Excel documents, Word documents, and so on. And when I create a new association, I'll just search and uh, for the particular documents and so on. And once I associate the documents specifically to Audria, then anytime Audria calls me, I'm going to get this big dialog box up with the file path to all those documents. So I'll have one click instantaneous access to all the documents as I've associated specifically to Audria. I will see this because I associated the file path, the documents tor towards Audria. She will not see the documents. It's just a quick access for me to have access to those documents. So that's what knowledge management is all about right there. Enable login notify. Well, we can see right here that she is logged into UCA, but she just currently away from her desk. And then 
Also, I can uh, edit groups. I can put uh, Audria in a, an Outlook group or create a new group for Audria. But she is part of our corporate group right here. So those were the things available to a, a user when you right click on an employee. And right here, this is how I'm going to find my contacts. Of course, I do have, I can create a subfolder right here, which I've done earlier. I've called, built one and added one called Outlook Contacts, but I just haven't imported my Outlook Contacts yet. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But we can come down to here. Here's my call history, my all calls, missed, received, and dials. I can search. I know part of the phone number, part of the extension number, and so on. I do have an active call window. Here I have visual voicemail. If I select messages, then uh, I can uh, look at my new messages, my old email, and so on. Um, so just another place for me to listen to my messages. Right down here, we have an application called the Launchpad. By default, it's a blank slate. You just right click. You can add an application. Put in a contact or multiple contacts that you may uh, wish to have quick access to. Add a folder, browse to a website, or add a group. So that is knowledge, excuse me, that's the launch pad. Most of the time you're going to be up here looking at your corporate contacts. So, um, kind of an overview there. Let's do this. Here we can run it in a compact mode. Uh, we recently installed uh, UCA on a uh, large municipal school district uh, with literally uh, thousands of employees. And their office staff loved the UCA due to the fact that um, it was easy for them to find each other to call somebody. So most of them are running this in compact mode and then when they wish to call somebody, they, all they have to do is just start typing in somebody's name and then just click to call. Now we highlight sweep and hit delete to clear and we will run that back in normal mode at this point. But uh, I do want to bring you down into, we have a drop down right here. We're going to go through some of the options within our drop down. So here we have a configuration for the appearance. Show my contacts as first or last name. Now here's my calendar integration. Maybe I choose to enable this Outlook calendar integration. What this does, by default, anytime that I have some type of an appointment on my Outlook calendars, any type of a busy type status in Outlook, I wish to change my dynamic status message to, uh, let's say, maybe do not disturb. And then following the clearing of that appointment showing on my calendar, I wish my dynamic status chain to change back to whatever previous state I had it in before. So that's the Outlook calendar integration. Here's call notifications. Here's how to enable or disable those screen pops that we showed just at the beginning of the video. The little incoming screen pop, the little outgoing screen pop that appears over here. Here's for my chat settings to save my chat and show my chat status as a way when I've been inactive for five minutes. That's why we're showing Audria down here. She's listed as a way because she hasn't touched her UCA or her keypad for a minimum of five minutes. So we'll bring that back up. Here's that knowledge management. Login notification. Maybe I wish to have access to this screen so I can quickly see who's, uh, let's move this over, so I can quickly see who's logged in. Um, but you know, it's real easy just to scroll down, see that Brenda's online, Chris is online, Christian Pap's online, and so on. Now, this PIM integration right here. If I've chosen to import my Outlook contacts into UCA, um, then anytime I make a change within Outlook, then by default, every two days at 1 a.m., it will do an index and it will make the changes to the contacts that I've imported into my UCA. Now this RSS feed, all that is, that's this right here. I've chosen ArizonaCentral.com RSS feed because I just kind of enjoy looking at the news headlines every once in a while. Soft phone settings, 
UCA can be placed on somebody's laptop. If it's configured uh, by your system administrator, then UCA does become your desk phone, uh, either in the office or on the road. So let's cancel this. And uh, let me just discard any changes I made there. So that was up underneath configuration. Here's how to manage your account, input additional phone numbers, email addresses, and instant messages services that you may be using. Importing your picture, by the way, was found in there, if you didn't notice. There's to change your picture, to change your passcode to log in, or change your voicemail pin. Manage those statuses. Here's the collaboration, the instant conference that we uh, discussed a little bit earlier with, with uh, Audria to do a, a, a quick instantaneous audio and a web collaboration. Um, the system has the capability. Um, there is a um, additional licensing feature um, called um, uh, Audio Web Conferencing, Mitel Collaboration Advanced. And um, it's, a, it's a web session. It's a, it's a conference bridge, similar to uh, Join Me, GoToMeeting, and so on. Uh, there are a couple videos on our YouTube page called Mitel Audio Web Conferencing that you can view to familiarize yourself with the collaboration. Now, here's how to import your Outlook contacts right here, if you choose to do so. And select OK to import your Outlook contacts, and they'll be found in this area here. Now, I um, do want to uh, make note that if you uh, have literally hundreds of contacts, it imports very quickly. Uh, first time that I was at somebody's office that had uh, over 400 contacts within their Outlook, I was truly amazed at how quickly it imported all those 400 contacts. Um, you will have to delete those contacts one at a time if you choose to import them from uh, your Outlook contact into your UCA uh, by right-clicking and selecting Delete. So that's how to import those Outlook contacts. Uh, Resync the corporate directory. All that is is maybe your system administrator has done a name change in the, in the system. Maybe Audrea has had a name change and she's hyphenating her name now. Well, by default, um, it won't push the name change out to the user's UCA accounts until the middle of the night, but uh, automatically. But, uh, or you can log out and log back in. But here's, here you can, uh, right there, um, excuse me, let's come up underneath. Resync corporate directory to do an instantaneous resync. This will just give you your software level. Here is your help tab right here. And right here, this is the true exit command. By default, we've all been taught to hit the X, the close prompt right here. But um, I want you to know that if you select the close, it truly does not fully close UCA. It just, what it does is it just sends it down into your toolbar down here. And then every time that you make a phone call, you get your little screen pop. Or when you receive a phone call, you get your little incoming toaster pop right here because it's not truly closed. Right here is the true exit command right here. So we went through that fairly quickly. I hope this was beneficial to you today. And uh, from all of us here at TransWest, I wanted to say thank you. And uh, please contact us. We are found on the web at www.twns.com. Thank you. Have a great day.